Billy and I are in the shop today. We actually don't have a whole heck of a lot going on. We went and got our hairs did this morning. Kind of. Side from the back. And same thing with this little muffin sticking out here. But anyway, we haven't really done anything all day. Um, extreme wind advisory. So it's been very, very windy. And uh, it's been pouring rain. It poured rain all last night. And it's been on and off raining all day. Nothing too hard actually during the day today. But uh, So we haven't done anything but lay around and be lazy all freaking day. But now we're uh, going to pick up fish fries and going to meet my father-in-law, my brother-in-law to have dinner with them. And then uh, we'll go back home. And then tomorrow we have mulching to do. So we'll definitely record that. Um, mulching at two commercial properties tomorrow. But it's supposed to be, I think, a high of 50 tomorrow. And no rain, sunny all day. But they're, uh, they've called for like high of 50 like three days this week. And it got up to 70 every day. But we did get a little more signage in, and I made a post on Instagram, and had a couple of people, I think Cujo and Fence Armor contacted me and you know, said they're going to send something. So I said, I have all kinds of room for signage in here. Uh, a couple of people recommended to me that I should do a t-shirt thing where you guys send me your t-shirts and I make a wall of t-shirts. But uh, I really don't want to do that because everybody has done that, and I can't stand to be like everybody else. Um, so in one idea that I might do, that's another reason why we didn't do the stickers on the fridge because everybody's done it and we just don't want to be like everybody else. So, um, if we decide to finish off the office over here and do something with that, then maybe we'll do a t-shirt thing in there or something and hang them all up in there. But for just the main shop, I just want signage, man, signage. So, um, obviously you guys saw in yesterday's video, uh, the two skag signs, or maybe it was the day before, I don't know. The two uh, skag signs, was it yesterday? Yeah. The two skag signs that the dealer gave us. Um, and like I said, I think Cujo and Fence Armor are sending something. I don't know who else will, but uh, we'll see what happens. But then we're going to do some of our own. So, and uh, I did get, I ordered one steel sign, like a dealer replica sign or metal sign. Um, I won it on eBay for really, really cheap. So that'll be coming any day and I'll hang that up. But, uh, let me show you two of the other ones that, that we ordered, that we got in. Check this out. So we got in this two foot tall by eight foot long Chevrolet banner. Yeah, all you Dodge and Ford guys got to love that. Beautiful Chevy banner. And then we got this. This is an awesome sign. A little John Wayne. It says, I'm here to kick ass and drink whiskey. And Pilgrim, I'm all out of whiskey. Can't be saying that on the interwebs. But uh, so anyway, I'm just there's really nothing to this video. Um, I'm just kind of messing around because I realized that for the last couple of years, I've been doing stuff all wrong. So what I mean by doing stuff all wrong, since I've had time today to screw around and do absolutely nothing, um, we just, uh, I, I've been watching videos on uh, different editing techniques and uploading and exporting um, settings and things like that. And I actually, when I started using Adobe Premiere like two or three years ago, I followed these settings that this guy had and it said that that's what you should be, you know, once you get done editing everything, that's what you should export to. And I noticed that everything, especially the last few videos I put up, a couple things have been wrong. Um, one, the LED lights in here are showing like black lines across my um, across my videos and it's showing some flickering in it sometimes. And I've had LED lights in the garage at home forever and none of my footage has ever come out like that. Um, two things play a part in that. One, <clears throat> I just redid my GoPro 8 and two, the DJ Osmo Pocket, which I'm filming on right now. I just redid that one too. And I had them both filming at 1080 at 60 frames per second. Um, and the reason I don't film at 4K is because my computers, the two computers I use for editing, uh, the one's a regular computer, the other one's a laptop, they just can't handle, I've upgraded them, they just can't handle 4K. And when I put those files in there, they lag like crazy and it's a pain to uh, edit them. Um, so anyway, I did a bunch of research today and it come to find out if I drop it down to 30 frames per second, it'll stop, those LEDs will stop screwing up the footage. 
Um, I don't know why that is. I watched this whole thing and they explained it, but I can't begin to explain it to you. But anyway, if I drop it down to 30 instead of 60 frames per second, it'll fix that. Also, I watched how um, you can still get really good footage if you film at 4K or 2.7K and then put it into my Adobe program and down render it to 1080. And it'll come out better than filming in regular 1080 because you're getting all that bit rate and all that resolution from filming at 4K. All these things I didn't know. So right now we're actually filming at 2.7K at 24 frames per second. Another real big thing, I told you I adjusted those settings back to or what they had recommended when I originally started using Adobe. Come to find out, even though I was filming at 1080, I was exporting at 720. And so every video you've seen from me in the last two and a half to three years has been filmed at uh, 1080, 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second. It's always been filmed at. Um, but then I exported at 720 and that's what it's uploading to on the YouTube is 720. Some dinosaur resolution footage. I have no idea how I never caught on to that. But I never did. So anyway, this one's being filmed different. I'm going to down resolution it to or down res to um, 1080. And then when I export, I'm exporting it out at 1080 as well. And we're going to see how this footage turns out. But that's kind of crazy. This morning when I watched this YouTube video. Yeah. I see that back in my room. Those big lights up there, that whole back wall looked green. Yeah, it did. It did look weird in the just uh footage was different but it's also it's not so much the way I was filming it but it's also the way that I was uh uploading it or exporting it out of the program once I get done editing it then I you got to export it and you export and that takes forever and it uh, renders it and everything else and uh it, you can either set it for one pass or two pass um and it's just there's a bunch of different settings and apparently I had them all screwed up so we're gonna redo them now and do it in this one here but uh so let me give you guys a little update on um, other things here in the shop. It's kind of dark over here. We got that light there. It's kind of blinding. I can't wait. Tomorrow they're coming. My buddy's coming to redo all these outlets for these lights. And they'll all be LED in here, which is another reason why I really needed to fix these settings on here. Because I couldn't figure out why I filmed with LED lights for so long in the garage at home. And it was fine. I come here and it's screwing up my footage. But anyway, so... You guys recommended a bunch of different ideas to me for pull behind spreaders. And I did go and buy one yesterday. It's just a cheap one. And like I told you guys before, I don't do a whole ton of overseeding and fertilizing, but I do do a decent amount of it. So I needed something better, but I wasn't looking to spend a ton of money. So here is the walk behind. If the camera followed me, I don't know. Here is the walk behind. Spreader. I don't know how well picked up. Let me set this can of beer down. It's not really beer, it's a monster. So if you guys look down, there we go. See, there's like a little joystick on this camera that I love. So here's the here's the pole behind the spreader. Has the adjustment piece right there. You set it wherever you want, open and close. And this one is a it says max speed three miles an hour. Yeah, right. Our machines don't even idle at three miles an hour. They're beasts. I think, what was this? Wasn't this like a hundred pound hopper? I think so. It was an 80 or a hundred pound hopper? Yeah, 80. Yeah. Um, doesn't it say up the front here? I saw it. Dang it, Billy, I can't find it! I saw it, man. Man, it don't it's say. It's more than that one. <laughs> it don't say. Oh, jump! All right, never mind. Anyway, so that's going to be our pole behind, and uh, that thing's going to work phenomenal. So let's talk about something really cool that I'm super stoked about. Now, what we've got here is failure, failure to failure. communicate. So I mentioned to you guys before that I took this Velky, Sulky, whatever, having your enterprises. I took this off of that Ferris before I sold it because... Um, I wanted to use it on here, but I did mention you guys, it's big, it's bulky, it's heavy, and that I was probably gonna end up going with a Jungle Gyms just because they're smaller and they're lighter and they're easier to use. Now, that being said, I don't even know if it's cutting my fat head off in this thing here. We'll try that. Okay, that being said, I've always been interested in a certain type of 
Velky, Selky type deal, but they're insanely expensive. And, and any of you guys that have been following me for a while are going to remember this because I've mentioned it a bunch of times. But I've always looked at the Go Slide and the Pro Slide XT. Okay, the Go Slide is just you step on it or you have it down and you step on it to a flat platform and you just ride it around and it stays with the mower. It doesn't turn or anything like these. Uh, two-wheel or single-wheel Valkies or Salkies do, and you just ride it around. I'm sure many of you already know what this is, um, but you have to pull it up and you have to chain it up. You're not supposed to ride it across stone, blacktop, concrete, anything like that, uh, because it wears the pad right out on the bottom. Um, and that was just, I've always had a lot of fun riding these the way they are, but I've always been interested in another one because you don't get the jarring. It glides across bumps. You don't get the up and down. The wheels don't fall in every hole or divot. It doesn't beat the hell out of your knees, your lower back, things like that, um, like these do. So I've always been very interested in one. I just didn't want to spend the money on one. Well, things have changed. And uh, I have one coming. And I, I'm very interested. I'm very excited about this thing. So anyways, there, there's one coming to me, okay? And I still, uh, I still don't like the price, and I still wasn't going to spend the money, and Maybe I still didn't spend the money, but anyway, there's one coming. Okay, and it's so the Go Slide is the one you chain up. The Pro Slide XT, you step off it. It's spring loaded. It goes back up on its own. When you get back on the grass area, you step down on it. It comes right down. And away you go. When you get to a hard surface again, you step off. It springs right back up. So that's the more expensive one. Those ones are about 400 bucks roughly. Um, so there's one of those on its way to us. It should be here within the next few days. And this will come off and I will put that on there. Um, and I'm super excited for that to come. So definitely stay tuned for that. I will do a full video installing that. I will tell you guys where you can get one, um, how you go about ordering it, the website you can go to to get it from. And I'll give you all the details and all that stuff. But we'll install it on here and then I'll use it. And obviously I'll make a ton of videos of me using it throughout the season. You guys will see it as long as I like it. If I don't, I'll take it off and Billy and I will just, uh, you know, we'll just use it for bow practice and uh, we'll just shoot a bunch of arrows through it or something. Practice. Yeah, freaking, we're low on 5.56, five, 2.23. Two, we only got a few thousand rounds left, man. Last time I shot a bow. We're not like wasting it, so we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just... We'll just use arrows on it. <laughs> we're, we're getting low on ammo. We're down to a few thousand rounds. So, um, but anyway, no, I really think we're going to like it. I think it's going to be awesome. So that's what we're going to put on here. Um, like I said, it'll be here within a few days. And uh, that's what's coming next for, for this bad girl right here. So um, this chain will come off here. I don't need to chain it up. Like I said, you step off and it goes right up. The ones that you do have to chain up, um, those are like 200 bucks, uh, I think, roughly is what I saw them for. Um, those are a lot cheaper. But anyway, so that's where we're at. And uh, that's a little update of a couple things to come. I want to show you guys the new signage coming up there. I want to mess around with this camera, get some footage so I can mess with it, uploading it. We'll see how this footage turns out. Um, I do have an external mic on this camera, so I'm hoping the audio, audio is good. It, it's been good so far recording on it. I love this camera. It's so easy to use and it's just an all around great camera to carry around. You just put it right in your pocket. And, but anyway, um, plus, I want to update you guys on this because I just found out that that was coming this morning and I'm super excited about it. So, anything you want to add to this, Billy? We need to go pick up some fish fries. Well, not you. We need to go pick up a sub for you because you don't want a fish fry. But um, me and Grandpa and Uncle Jeff are going to pick. I'm going to get fish fries for us. And Yeah, baby. Anything uh, you want to add? Billy is on spring break for the next two weeks. So uh, he's off the next two weeks. It, I was hoping we were going to start mowing next week. That's not going to happen. It's a little premature for that. Um, some of the yards probably could use a cut already, but um, the majority of them, no. And the temperatures have definitely been a lot warmer. And in the last two days, we've got a crack ton of rain. So um, I'm going to email all my customers probably later today and tell them not this coming Monday, but the following Monday will be the first week of cuts. I always give them a heads up a week in advance every season. And... Uh, so the first week of mowing, the first week of cuts, Billy will be with me. And that'll be nice. And then you'll go back to school and then I'll be on my own Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then Thursday and Fridays, you'll be with me until school lets out in sometime mid-June. But, and then it's, 
We got a bunch of new lawns this year, Billy. Bunch of new lawns. All right, guys, I'm not gonna drag this out anymore. I know uh, we, we burn up all the comedy on yesterday's video. That was a funny video. I went back and watched the video like twice. I kept laughing. I'm like, we're such a bunch of clowns. That's pretty much every day with us. That's how we are every day, all day, um, throughout the season. Um, I usually just don't catch most of it on camera, but I'm going to try to get a lot more of that this year on camera. So we'll bring you guys a lot more comedy since... We'll bring you a lot I get, for our adventures. For our adventures. I get a lot of people that uh, that tell me all the time in the videos that we're a prime example of what not to do. So we're not an educational channel, I guess. So I'm definitely not like that. We'll, uh, we'll at least bring you guys some comedy. But anyway, we're going to end it here. That's enough rambling. What do you got to say, Billy? What do you got to say for yourself, son? It's not about that bushel of hair sticking out of the front of your hat. Looks like a seven. Head. Looks like a seventies bikini advertisement. A seventies <laughs> what? <laughs> you probably have no Sam. idea what that means. That's too funny. What uh, Sam? All right, go ahead and close this sucker out or whatever. Make sure you hit that subscribe bobby button, leave a thumbs up, and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. We'll see you in the next, next one. one. Yeah, we will. Peace. <laughs>